Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. Father God, I thank you today as your word states where two or three are gathered together in your name. There you are in the midst. Father God, I thank you this day that you are in the midst of every situation, every trial and every tribulation. Father God, I thank you today that you'll never leave us nor forsake us. Father God, I thank you today as we draw nigh to you, you will draw nigh to us. Father God, I thank you today that your eyes are on the sparrow. Father God, I know that you're watching out for us. Father God, I thank you today that your word says you'll never leave us nor forsake us. Lord, I thank you today for your word says that you are an ever-present help in a time of trouble. Lord, your words in James 4, 8, that if we draw nigh to you, you will draw nigh to us. Lord, I thank you today for your words as my eyes are on the sparrow. Don't you know that I watch out for you? Lord, I thank you today as your words in Matthew 6 and 33. To seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all else shall be added unto us. This day, Father God, we seek your will and we seek your way. This day, Father God, we seek your plan. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Psalms 34 and 10. Those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Father God, I thank you today for your words as those who thirst and hunger for righteousness shall be filled. As a deer pants for water, Father God, we pant for your presence. Oh, do we need thee. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Psalms 37 and 23 for the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he busies himself with the steps. What does that mean? As you are allowing God to lead you and you are following in his steps, God is working out situations before you get there. Come on, come on, come on. So Psalms 37, 23 says again, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And though, and as he walks in those steps, God is busy him, busying himself with those steps. So when you are in the will, God is obligated to take care of the bill. When, when you are following his vision, God is obligated to provide the provision. So that's why it's so critical that we hear his voice. Romans 10, 17 says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hebrews 11, 1 says, for now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews eleven six 6 says, for it is impossible to please God without faith. For those who come to God must first believe that he exists and believe that he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Lord, this day I seek your will. This day, Father God, I seek your plan. Father God, I thank you today that you are my all in all. You are the great I am. Lord, you are what we need when we need it. Father God, I thank you today that I run to you from whence my help comes, for my help comes from the Lord. Father God, I thank you today that you are my way maker. You are my air giver. Father God, I thank you today that you are an ever present help in a time of trouble. Father God, I thank you today that I trust you in spite of what I see. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Isaiah 26 and 3, for a mind stayed on you shall be kept in perfect peace. Father God, I thank you today for the peace that surpasses all understanding. Father God, I thank you today that, that you guard my heart and guard my mind. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Matthew eleven twenty eight come to me, all those who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Lord, this day I choose to rest in your peace. This day, Father God, I choose not to worry, have doubt, or have fear. But Father God, I thank you that you already got it. Lord, your words in 1 Peter 5, 7, to cast all our cares, all our worries, all our doubts, all our fears, Lord, we give them to you once and for all. 
But Father God, we know that you care for us watchfully and we know that you care for us affectionately. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. No weapon shall have its intended end. For what the enemy is made for bad, Lord, I know you're going to turn it around for our good. So, Father God, I thank you today that, Father God, we look to you as your words in Psalms 121. We look to you from whence our help comes. Look to the hills from whence our help comes. For we know that our help comes from the Lord. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Psalms 37 and 23. Hallelujah. No, 21. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for our steps being ordered. Lord, we thank you for your plan. Lord, we thank you as your words is delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit that way unto him. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Romans 8 and 28. And we know that all these things are working together for good for those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose, his plan, and his design. Father God, I thank you today that you're working it for our good. Lord, I thank you today for your words as if we have the faith of a mustard seed, that we shall speak to our mountains. Father God, I thank you today for mountain-moving faith, yoke-destroying faith, blind eyes-opening faith. Lord, your words are in Mark 9, 23. As you believe, so shall you receive. You will live on the level you believe. Hallelujah. As you believe, so shall you receive. Father God, I thank you today that we are believers and not doubters. Father God, I thank you today that we hold fast to our confession of faith. We decide to walk by faith and practice faith. Our faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Philippians 2, 5. Let this mind be in you that also was in Christ Jesus. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Romans 12, 2. Do not be conformed to this world any longer, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is the good and perfect and acceptable will of God for your life. Father God, I thank you today for mind transformation. Father Father God, I thank you today that, Father God, your words in Proverbs 28 and 1, for the righteous are bold as lions. Lord, I thank you today as your words in 1 John 5, 14 and 15. Now, this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, we know that we shall receive the things that we have asked of him. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Psalms 84 and 11. No good thing shall he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Lord, I thank you today as your words in John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word is with God, the word was God, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and his name was Jesus. Father God, I thank you today that you are the blind eye opener. You are the lame leg restorer. Father God, I thank you today that I run to you from whence my help comes, for I know that my help comes from the Lord. Lord, I thank you today that you're the author and the finisher of my faith. Father God, I thank you today that we know who we are and we know whose we are. Lord, your words in Genesis 126, let us make man in our image, in our likeness. Give them power, give them dominion, and give them authority. Father God, I thank you today as, as your words is in Luke 10, 19, that he's given us the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Father God, I thank you today as your words in 2 Timothy 1, 7, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Romans 8 and 28, and we know that all things are working together for good for those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose, his plan, and his design. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Romans 8 and 31, if God be for us, who can be against us? Lord, I thank you today as your words in Romans 8 and 37. Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Lord, I thank you today. Hallelujah. As your words in John 16, 33. In this life, you will have trouble. 
but be of good cheer for I have already overcome the world. Lord, I thank you today as your words in James 1 and 2, count it all joy. When we have fallen various trials and testings for the testing of our faith produces patience and let patience have its perfect work that we might be complete and perfect and lacking nothing. Father God, I thank you for another chance. Lord, I thank you for today's grace. Lord, I thank you for today's mercy. As your words in Lamentations 3, 22 and 23, that your grace and mercy are fresh and new every day. Lord, I thank you today as your words in James 1 and 2, count it all joy. When you fall various trials and testings for the testing of your faith produces patience, and let patience have its perfect work, that you might be complete and perfect and lacking nothing. Father God, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you for this day, this time, and this opportunity. Glory to God. Let's put on the armor. In the name of Jesus, we put on the whole armor of God that we may stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rules of darkness, world, and spiritual workings high places. Therefore, we take unto ourselves the whole armor of God, that we may withstand the evil day, heaven, that all the stand we stand there for, having our Lord and spirit about with truth. Your word, Lord, which is truth, contains all the weapons of our warfare, which are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We have on the breastplate of righteousness, which is faith and love. I feel the shower, the preparation of gospel peace. In Christ Jesus, we have peace of pursuit, peace with all men. We are ministers of reconciliation, proclaiming the good news of the gospel. We take the seal of faith, wherewith we able to quench all the fire darts of the wicked and the helmet of salvation, holding the thoughts, feelings, and the purpose of God's heart, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. In the face of all trials, in the face of all tests, in the face of all temptations, in the face of all tribulations, we cut to pieces the snares of the enemy by speaking the word of God. For greater is he that's in me, than he that's in the world. Lord, we thank you for the armor. Father God, I thank you right now that we understand and realize that we might be the only Bible somebody hears today. We might be the only Jesus somebody sees today. So Father God, I thank you that we will let our light so shine as well as all men and women to you. The Lord's prayer says, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Make it personal. Lord, Give me this day my daily bread and forgive me my trespass as I forgive those who trespass against me and lead me, Father God, not into temptation, but deliver me, Father God, from the evil one. For thine's the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The prayer of Jabez said this, oh, that you would bless me indeed. Come on, don't be bashful, don't be shy. Oh, that you would bless me indeed. Father God, I thank you for the blessing, the empowerment to prosper. Glory to God. Enlarge my territory. Come on, say it out your mouth. Lord, I thank you today for the land, the building, the resources. Lord, I thank you today for the financial deliverers that you are raising up for such a time as this. Lord, I thank you today for divine hookups, increased promotion and favor. Lord, I thank you today that your hand be upon us. Keep us, cover us, guide us, and lead us, Father God, in the path that you have for us to go. Lord, I thank you for another chance. Lord, I thank you for another opportunity. Lord, I thank you for the Ruha breath of life, the breath of life that you put in my lungs. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Lord, I thank you for the hedge of protection you provide. Lord, I thank you today that we shall not cause pain by action, word, or deed, but let everything we do give you the glory. Let me praise me and let me honor. Lord, I thank you today for travel mercy and travel grace. As we get on the highways, byways, planes, trains, and automobiles. Lord, I thank you today that we are a family of faith and not of tragedy. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray now, believers, I pray for my family. I want you to pray for your family. Lord, I thank you today for my wife, my rib, my good thing. Lord, I thank you for the blessing she is. I pray for my children, Jomo, Jeremiah, and Josiah. Lord, I bleed the blood of Jesus over lies. Father God, I thank you this day that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. No weapon shall have to tend to them. Cover my babies, cover my blood, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, in-laws. Cover them. I pray for the church to give me serve love first. I pray for every kingdom church doing kingdom business. Lord, I pray for the sick and the shut in, the weak and the weary, the downtrodden, the hurt, the abused, the neglected, the backs of the heathen. I pray for brothers and sisters behind bars, brothers and sisters being crucified for your name, brothers and sisters in the military arms way. I pray for our leaders, local and national, give them wisdom to lead. I pray for our first responders, police officers, firefighters, ambulance workers. Lord, you know, 
Help them, Lord, I pray right now for our teachers and our students, guidance counselors, resource officers, cafeteria workers, bus drivers, cross code workers. Call, Lord, we cover them right now. Lord, I thank you right now for those in the medical field who are helping people get better. We pray for them right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, to God be the glory. Good morning again. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for getting up with me. Thank you for following. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. You can always subscribe to my prayer channel, Jomo Prayer, and get messages and prayer every day. Hallelujah. Or you can follow me on Facebook, Pastor Jomo, or Twitter, Dr. Jomo Cousins. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Good morning again. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Let's land the plane. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. You are the potter. We are the clay. Mold me and make me. This is what I pray. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. Well, I love you. Thank you for getting up with me again. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for following. Have a tremendous day. I'll be back in about 60 seconds and we will jump into the book.